Well, hello, everybody. Welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlemagne's adventure in StarMaid. And this is on the Star Squadron server. And so, yeah, so <laughs> I haven't been playing at all. It's been a very rough week. And so he'll be here's my kind of video of the week. It's going to be about the factory production. So we're going to kind of work on this area here. I think we're going to do it together and I'm going to do it all on camera. Isn't that going to be fun? I might edit this, I might not, it's hard to say, but yeah, so let's get started. So basically, where's my build ball? Blah, my build block. So the fact of the matter is, is the production that I have up there isn't good enough. So we need to produce production uh, over, where am I going? I'm lost. <laughs> we need to put production over here. There we go. That's right. Okay, so if I go into here, I'm going to lighten it up so we can see. Now, I had the idea of, I was kind of just imagining kind of how I wanted the factory. Yeah, I could, ooh, yeah, I could use the, like these tools to make a 5x5 five five area, maybe like this. No, that's down. Maybe like this. And then if we go remove mode. Uh, where is it? Where is the... There we go. If we go remove mode, it gets kind of tricky to try and target the area, if that makes sense. So I just usually just do it like this. I do it by hand, one by one, because this is the good old you kind of Minecraft method, right? There's no build tools and fancy stuff like that. I left this open because I wanted to mine that ore. That's right. Let's do that. Let's mine that ore. Very funny. Yeah, I'm not sure what all of you think about these videos, but I have a blast playing this game. This game's amazing. Uh, I'm waiting, of course, for them to develop kind of more aspects of the game, like the simulation aspect. But for what the game is, you know, it's basically, I would hate to say it, but it's kind of like a Minecraft in space, but the similarities end at this point, right? So, yeah, okay. There's these blocks, and they're blocky, but the reality is, is there's way more shapes of blocks in here. Like there's like you know all kinds of wedges, and there's all uh, all kinds of neat kind of looking blocks that help you build what you you want in this in this game. So it's pretty cool, and yeah, it does have that Minecraft kind of blockiness, but yeah. But then that's all it is. It's it's because they ch they have chosen to create the engine in such a way as these blocks and the entire space and everything and all that that offers. That's all there. So that's pretty amazing, right? Um, I'm also using what's called um, Action. I think is is what's called is the recording software because I found with OBS this stuff kind of f uh, flickered and flashed and so hopefully. All this footage will come out okay. We'll see how much I, I edit of this because another fact of the matter is is I usually tend to try and edit. Um, I try to edit the spaces, the ums, and all those other little kind of things that I do that we all do. As much as I try to be professional and try to kind of have it streamlined, it, it always ends up being like um, ah, uh, ooh, ah. Uh, and so whatever and so that's the reality of all this <laughs> i just do that and that's just happens and that's the way it is so basically this is kind of the setup i'm going for going to have kind of like a construction block and then kind of a column like this right that's kind of what we're going to go for and what we need to do is we need to produce we need to produce all manner of blocks we need to produce Let's see, I need a metal grill here. Let's see if I can find the metal grill. We do have some of those. Okay, so now here what we can do is we can go off of remove mode and we can actually, I think we can f fill this area in if I just left click maybe. Uh, let's see, if can I right click the place? No, 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 it's to remove. So it's, it's similar as other games. There we go, left click to place, okay. Okay, I kind of like that, kind of dig that, I don't know. You might need a regular block right here maybe, like so, maybe. 
Maybe we can put a light in there. Actually, that might be a little bit better. Let's see, uh, I know I know I can use the hotkeys. That's another thing that somebody commented. It's been a while, and I'd have to go back to see that comment, to, re to read that comment. But thank you for that comment. I appreciate it. Uh, I've never forgotten that one. I can just kind of quickly pick it. You still kind of have to use your mouse wheel for these ones, but it should be okay. So I'm going to place a button here. And the reason I had the grill here is because I kind of like seeing that line in, in between. And then we need to place the the factory. Put that in slot 5. Okay. And then we need to connect this with this. So that way when we press this, this gets turned off. And that's kind of how we can control production. All right? So that's kind of cool. Okay, and so now I also created these bad boys. Where are we? These ones, these factory enhancers. And so let us do that. One moment here. Okay, perfect. So here, now we're going to go underneath. Yeah. Okay. I think we can do it in such a manner. Maybe I shouldn't have put this stuff in. <laughs> at the moment so let's see how far down so so each spot is a five by five area if we stay inside of these of these yellow things we could extend one out maybe but how would the counting go so five by five it, it would be 25 so I just need f four rows yeah, maybe that's how we'll do it we'll do four rows underneath and that should be your kind of like 99 units, 100 units. So obviously minus one unit. But yeah, I think that would work. Okay. So we got one more row of blocks here. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. And then we need another row going that way. Kind of hard sometimes I find with the light mode on. If you turn it off, the shading kind of helps you see what's going on, and it's kind of easier to. I find it easier to see the transitions. It's a lot. This is how I kind of I I tend to to build is like this with the natural lighting. So I kind of have a feel of the area and I kind of understand how it all feels. So some of you might do it differently, and that's fair enough. That's you're more than welcome to do it that way. <laughs> I do it this way. Because these games are just amazing that way. You can play the game how you choose. <laughs> and that's what I love about these all of these games. Let's see here. So now if I want to remove, I want to be on the top right-hand corner here. So maybe if I did this. Yeah. Ah, come on. One. Okay. So that's, so that's what? Two rows. So that's 50, right? 25, 25. This would be 75, I think. And then this would be 100. And of course, it's going to be minus 1. So the 1, we would go into our inventory, grab frozen rock, place the 1. Hmm. Heck it. We could place the 1 right there, right underneath. Doesn't matter. Because that would actually work. Here we got a deposit. I'm not going to worry about that because it's... Uh, I guess I could jump down there and mine it out. Let's do that. I'm really... Uh, this is what I do too. This is another thing I do is I hop down and I just have to mine this stuff out. <laughs> it bugs me to destroy it. Yeah, I don't know why. Maybe because it's that bonus. See how you, how you get that bonus... See, uh, yeah, right there. See, lucky, 252 resources. I just, I like that. I like you, you're collecting that. <laughs> Maybe that's my problem. <laughs> that's so funny. <clears throat> okay. I want to put another cargo thing up here as well. So kind of the, the finished product will be here, I think. And then the unfinished product kind of will reside in here. In each of these, the cargo is... Oh yeah, shoot! We'll have to create buttons to activate and deactivate the the pull as well. Well, this should always be turned on to pull. 
And this should be, if we go just like this, a gray hull. Because we know this is what we're going to produce here. We're going to produce our gray hulls here. And how much? Well, I want it to pull, let's say 500 right now per tick. See, I don't like to pull a high number. And this will update when you go out and go back in. It's just, it's one of those things. <laughs> okay, so we got that. Now let's select our factory here. Let's factory enhancer. So I'm going to place, maybe I'll place this top row last. So we should actually maybe, oh, I should be in build mode here. Not in this mode. There we go. Build mode would be a lot better. So we'll actually move this thing down here somewhere. Let's move it in the corner there. So we have it selected. No, we don't. See. Okay, let's take off remove mode. And ah, keep getting confused. Okay, those are selected, which is perfect. I'm going to place this first row by hand, and then we're going to place them automatically going up from here. Oh, come on. It's, okay, so this would be... So if, I, if my math is right, the factory creates one unit on its own, and then these add one to that number. So that means 99 of these would allow me to create 100 units per tick of the factory. So if that's the case, that is good. And hopefully my math is correct. Otherwise, who knows? Who knows? Maybe I'll see comments about it. <laughs> so let's place another row of those. Let's place, we should be able to be up here now. Let's place another row of those. And one more final row. Bang. Actually, I, I kind of like that look maybe. And then if we put in our grill here, and then I'll have to make sure that we put in these yellow bad boys. Throw that right there. Five. And we throw this guy right there. Man, I like that. I like how that's looking. Okay, and so basically, I need to make a transition box. What's a transition box? Well, right above these boxes, I want to create kind of like a similar area as what is up there. We'll kind of do it this way as well. Two, three, yeah, see, and then we go this way. So one, two, three, this would be four, five. And yeah, and then we would bring it this way. Okay, and okay, so one, two, three. Oh, maybe my math. No. Oh, uh, okay. Wrong spot. We aimed wrong. <laughs> it's one off. Uh, I gotta pick that one up. Come on. This is what you deal with. This is what I do. Okay. So this box will be kind of a transition. So this box will pull and it will be constantly filled up with the appropriate product from the main storage. So I need cargo boxes. I did see it, but I do not. There we go. All right, let's put the button. Okay. So now, how do you want this to look? This is a transition box, right? Let's change this orientation back to to one, and let's kind of, yeah, there you go. Why not? Just like that. Okay. But I don't know if I can do it like that. Uh, let's see here. Control. C C oh no. Yeah. This would pull from here, all right? And then this one would pull from here because this is the finished product. This is the factory making the gray hulls. Gray hull. 
like so. Okay, perfect. So that is ready. Okay, it's turned off at the moment, which is perfect. And okay, this will be pulling them. It probably only needs to pull a thousand, but we'll see what happens. This one. This one. So this one's connected to this one, right? Okay, so this one's not. Will be connected to. Uh, let's see here. Oh, here we go. This one. V. Okay. So. I think that's how we do it, right? This one should be connected to that one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so this one connected to that one means I can pull from that box. I believe that's how the flow goes. So that means this one, change items to auto pull. Uh, what do I need to make to make these things? These things would be crystal and alloy metal mesh. So we need to kind of do an equal part in both. So we would go change items to auto, um, crystal... No, it's not crystal, is it? Brew, brown, green. I think this is showing me everything. I need to be more specific with this. So, if we go back into here, because I can't remember. Crystal composite. Okay, crystal composite. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, crystal composite. That single crystal composite. There we go. Pick we picked that one. Now, how many do we want to collect of this stuff? Well, it needs to be an equal ticks, I guess. And it needs to be more ticks than what the factory is producing. So let's do... Can we do realistically? Let's do 250 for now. And we'll kind of see how that pulls. And if we go add single alloy metal mesh we just do the same amount okay so that should pull in everything uh, evenly so what's the next step now <laughs> uh, it's scary then the next step is to move everything down into here and so the way we would achieve that very very simple is through two methods each of these will be connected to I need to make sure they're not pulling anything right now deactivate the storage pull okay deactivate storage pull okay so this one's selected right I need to combine it to this box here okay so now those are connected perfect Okay, I'm just kind of thinking here. Okay, uh, where am I? I'm lost. Okay, so this one's connected. And then we need to do the same with the exact same thing over here. Okay, that's connected as well. I do have that turned off, I think. Let's take a quick peek here. Yeah, we do. Okay, now, now we need to do the same with Oh, there's a chunk error here. That's beautiful, beautiful. I need this area. I need this area. I'll be right back, folks. Okay, well, welcome. <laughs> hopefully I'm back. Hopefully everything works. So I'm in this area. So the next step, which of what I was doing, was I need to connect these boxes with these boxes. Because these are just more kind of like visual boxes, if that makes sense. Just, oh, come on, man. These are just visual boxes, so that way they transfer the materials. And the main storage room, which is this one here, all right, will be connected to both of these. This is all just visual. Let's see. V. V. There you go. Perfect. So that's everything. So this is kind of like our, our main storage. But it's more main storage of raw materials. We'll need to come down here and pick up stuff. I do want to create kind of like a centralized 
personalized storage, but I kind of want to make that look like it's in a vault. So that's kind of an idea for that, right? But there we go. We got this hooked up. So let's open this up. Change items to auto pull. Add all. And we should add, I don't know. Let's make it auto pull at a thousand so it's relatively quick, right? We might have to change these values as our factory setup increases because our factory setup will want to extract resources and whatnot. And so this one should be always turned on so that way it's set to auto pull. Perfect. Okay. And hopefully the, the value we chose is, is sufficient. Okay, so now these ones need to be set to auto pull, add all, how much per tick. Okay, 2,000 maybe per tick. It might be too high, but that's okay, we'll do that. Okay, and then, so actually all we need to do is activate storage pull. Activate storage pull, change items to auto pull, add all 2000. So this fills up fast, right? And then we'll do change items to auto pull, set to 50. It's going to kind of slowly filter down. So actually, let's do this then. I'm going to change these. If I go clear all, add all, change them to 25. Why not? <laughs> Shits and giggles, right? And then we go change items, auto pull, clear all, auto pulls, at all, 25. And then this one will change to auto pull at all. Let's do this at 10. So this will auto, we'll do it slowly. And the, the initial ones will be relatively quick. So as soon as I activate, as soon as I activate these ones, it's going to pull from those boxes. I think that's what we need to make sure that these are all active. I do want to kind of hook up a button system to all of these. So that way I can, in the commands, like in the command, the control hub, command hub, the control hub, I'll be able to kind of turn it on or off. So we'll turn the act the pull on that. Okay, so let's do this. Let's transfer our, our resources and finish the episode there. You know, thank you for kind of joining me on this adventure. Hopefully you've had a good time. <laughs> if not, well, pfft, okay. But thanks for watching anyways. Appreciate you spending the time out of your busy day, your busy schedule. Okay, so let's activate this bad boy and let's activate this one. Now... Technically, this should pull some stuff. Oh, boo, yeah. Yeah, it's totally, totally doing it. Nice. Okay, and it looks like they are being pulled into the other boxes, maybe. Let's take a quick peek. Yeah, 75. So this may have 100. Okay, beautiful. I think it's working as expected here. Let's hop out of our our crafting thing and let's kind of take a quick peek here and then call it a day. Huh, man, awesome. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to replicate that setup and hopefully when you all come back, I'll have the paint set up, I'll have the gray, the blue hulls going, and then I want to kind of create the other pieces as well. So we'll need to create factories of that. I'm not sure how I'm going to integrate that into everything, but let's see here. Can I jump? Come on. I want to jump. There we go. Can we do we see any boxes? I think over in the corner there, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, we see it. We see it. So these are being pulled. And then from here, they're being pulled into here. And do we see anything in here? Maybe because it's such a low volume. Yeah. And then from here, oh, that's interesting. Hey, how there's a different value and then from here they get pulled into our main storage area here let's run over here yeah okay okay excellent excellent 
Yeah, look at that. That's so cool. I love that. So our storage is, is, is moving down into here. And so now, yeah, that's filling up as well. That's behaving exactly as I expected. It'll be interesting to see what happens when we activate the production because then this will pull from there. And so we need to balance the pull on this with the pull coming down. So I'm, I'm definitely going to have to readjust those values. That's, that's not enough. But it looks like it's doing the trick. It looks like we'll be able to store a ton of these materials in this, this one box. So we'll use this 100 volume you know, very efficiently. Then there's 100 volume in here. And then there's 100 volume in here. Once this is full, I want production to stop. So then it backs up, and then this fills up with raw materials, and then it just sits there. It, and it, once this is full, it shouldn't pull. So this is kind of like the flow. And then from this box, we can have other factories take the blocks out of here and then produce the other blocks from those, right? And then down this way, I was going to put the colors. And then or maybe I will extend the factory out one more row that way. Then we'll put the colors down here, and then we'll put the blocks in here all the way down. We would almost need to kind of create a bigger setup to have every possible block being produced. So what we'll do is we'll just concentrate on the two blocks and then the production of those two blocks. So maybe here we'll build the blue paint, and then beside it we'll build the blue blocks, and then we'll start production of the other blocks behind those ones. And we'll do all the grays and then we'll do all the blues somehow and then start kind of like the next chain maybe so we have a huge area to work with so anyways thank you everybody for watching hopefully hopefully you've enjoyed yourselves and yeah i look forward to seeing you all in the next one bye bye